Yeah. 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 You're nervous? Oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone's nervous and Kit just strolls through the door, it's swaggering. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> That's not how I feel. <laughs> hey, it's Sylvan, and welcome to a special week three release campaign episode of Ever Never TV. I'm lit by the morning sun because I'm finally back in New York. I'm also covered in glitter. I wore glitter to the LA premiere of The School for Good and Evil, and now I can't get it out of my towels, out of my hair, out of my face. It's everywhere. But it's fitting because the movie is now number one in 84 countries, which is ridiculous because it all started with those books up there and the joy in writing them and the fun I had in 10 years of getting to meet all of you and sort of building this beautiful Ever Never community that we've all been a part of. And now it's gone worldwide. This last week of the main campaign has been crazy. I got to LA and I went straight into a huge event at Barnes and Noble and then went into the junket the next day. And the junket is an eight hour speak to press from all over the world in person and virtually just doing interview after interview after interview. I've done them before for the books, but obviously this is much more intense. And it was a really fun day though, actually, because I got to hang out with Charlize and Carrie again and see the girls and hang with Kit. I laugh whenever I talk about hanging with Kit because he makes me crazy. Then I got like four hours sleep and then I got up the next day I got to do Kelly Clarkson with Carrie Charlize, Caruso, Wiley, and then Paul Feig joined us. But it was amazing seeing Kelly again. It feels like I've been on there twice so now we have a thing. The whole episode was dedicated to the School for Good and Evil. We got to, to be a family together and that's what it felt like. And then from there I went home, took an hour nap, and then started getting glam for the big LA premiere of the School for Good and Evil. I was wearing a custom jacket by the amazing and very famous designer Gunnar Detheridge who was on Project Runway and has since become like a famous designer for the fact that he was untrained and just had like supernatural talent and he knew the movie and was excited about designing for someone and he decided to design for me and made the absolutely most beautiful good and evil jacket so thanks to Netflix for facilitating that and then at the premiere we all just sort of reunited it was a huge theater in Westwood LA I got to take photos with everyone on the red carpet do a ton of interviews my whole family was there my family got to meet Carrie Washington and all the actors and, and that was the grand finale and I flew back the next morning I only got two and a half hours sleep flew back the next morning because I had to get back to New York to do some more press and now I'm here and the movie is number one all over the world you guys were the ones who made it number one because the book fans are the ones who made this movie happen and gave it all the energy and are the ones who are driving it right now especially on social media and the more you spread the word the more chance we have of a sequel if you saw my cameo on the film more to come on that in terms of how it was filmed and everything like that so yeah that's everything I think I'm a little tired, obviously, but I'm finishing up press over the next week and some more TV shows, interviews and things like that. And then I'm editing Fall of The School for Good and Evil, which is a book I adore and can't wait for you guys to read. And then I'll be on to Peace and Beauty, the TV show for Sony. That's going to be my next big project. So, all right, we'll see you next week.